Hey everybody, welcome to 3137 Fairmont in Boyle Heights. Let's take a look at the house. So we did something a different, little different this week. This is the front door. Here is the living room. Bedroom one. Bathroom. Bedroom two. A little hallway. Built-ins, this is sort of the dining room. Kitchen, needs quite a bit of work. Separate, we have bedroom three, bedroom three, the backyard. Let's go back to where we started. Okay guys, once again, welcome to 3137 Fairmont in Bull Heights. We're listing this property for $425,000. It is a three bedroom, one bathroom. It is slightly under 1,000 square feet and it is on a 5,200 square foot lot. That's the house. We're at the end of the lot. There's a detached garage. Let me start the comments. And there you have it. Welcome everybody again, 3137 Fairmont. So, this is the lot. You have a garage detached, one car garage, very old school. The house was built in 1924. This is the driveway. You guys can get an idea of the size. And if you know anything about Bull Heights, you know this is a very eclectic part of town. You can hear the fiesta music in the background. This neighborhood is actually really old. It's been around, well, this house was built in 24. So this is the back door. We'll keep giving out to the kitchen. Let's go inside and take a quick look. Okay, so when you come in from the back, you step into the kitchen that needs quite a bit of work. And you have the, f the first bedroom, which I guess will be the last the last bedroom in the house when you come in from the front. How have you guys been? Let's take a quick moment to say hello to each other and to tell each other that <laughs> welcome to the Open House Show live every Sunday at 3 p.m. on Facebook, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, and if you live in the middle of America, you'll have to do your own math. Okay, we already did one quick tour. Let's do another one. So this is obviously a fixer. We have seen all sorts of properties and this falls under the category of fixer upper. So it looks like they did some work to the house. Ifornel, yes, very good question. So let me just give you guys the heads up, look. So Donato asks, where are the cooktops? Good, great question, there are none. This means this house will most likely not qualify for conventional financing. Keep that in mind. This house will most likely not qualify for conventional financing because 
conventional financing requires habitability as a cause of financing. There's no stove, there's no stove, no fridge. So according to a loan officer, you know, the, the, the underwriting team for a loan, they would say, how can you live there? Uh, the square footage, good question. Um, Kelly, the square footage is just under 1,000 square foot, 1,000 square feet, uh, 900 and change. On a, on a very large lot, you know the potential of this house is the fact that the lot is so big, there's a potential, the, there's a way to do. And, and I don't know if I, if I gave you guys the, the idea exactly of how big this lot is, but we're gonna go back to sort of where we came from. So you see this is the house, right? We looked at the, we took a quick look at the driveway. Here we are again in the backyard. Okay, we're gonna go back to the house. Woo! It's about 85 today, but it's nice and breezy. There are people that I think are trying to get in. Well, we'll, we'll let them in after we have a chance to do our open house. Okay, so um, let's take a quick look from, you have, let's look at the built-ins. This is very typical of the era. These are built-ins, right? You have street front over here. Look at these arches. We looked at something last week reminded us of this a lot of original charm in that sense so when you come in let's see hope you guys don't get seasick when you come in over there you have the bathroom uh, the, the house was built in 1924 so just to keep that in mind, you have the front door right there. The living room, I'm gonna walk around the living room to give you guys an idea of how big it is. You know, for being a thousand square feet, this house feels relatively spacious. Today it's hot, it's important to stay hydrated. That's why I tell my kids. I tell them all the time, when you're eating, make sure you drink water. Okay, so from the dining room, here you go. You have two bedrooms, one bedroom here, one bedroom here. The, the, sizes of the, the size of the bedroom for the age the house was built is actually pretty good. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't complain. Let me give you guys an idea. This bedroom has two closets. One closet right here, which looks like, like some sort of teleportation thing. So it can function as that, I guess. And and then you have another closet. It's not too bad in size. Shall we take a look at the bathroom? This is not a bathroom to work. Let's just take a look at this other bedroom. This bedroom, on the other hand, doesn't have a closet. See? The other one had two closets. This one doesn't have any. Let's take a quick look at the bathroom. Okay, so the one bathroom this, this house has, 
in his work. Today, for the first time, I will not be jumping in the shower because You don't need me to jump in the shower to get an idea. All right, let's go this way. All right. Let's uh, try going this way. All right. Here we are in the kitchen one more time. Let me give you an idea of the size of the kitchen. It's actually a pretty good size. So this property has been getting a lot of attention and I think that's due to the fact that it has a lot of potentials, a lot of potential. Okay, bedroom right here. There's a closet. What? Oh good, so yeah, the neighborhood. So Boyle Heights is east of downtown Los Angeles. It's very close to USC County and Medical Center. Um, it has, it's very, it's close, the, the main freeway I guess in the neighborhood is the 10 freeway, which can take you all the way to Santa Monica. Um, overall, it's an up and coming neighborhood. And one more time, we're outside. That's the garage. You guys already saw it. You saw the house. Okay, very good. I think this week we're gonna probably cut it short because we saw everything we can in this under a thousand square feet. You know, the home is under a thousand square feet. I, we've been getting a lot of calls. Oh, here's a very important fact about this house. People think that some, so this area is close to East Los Angeles which is not the city of LA, it's the county of LA. However, keep in mind the fact that um, this area, this house, it's in the city of Los Angeles. A uh, good question, Tommy. Let's take a look if there are. So, as far as I can tell, this will be the place. I don't see dedicated washer and dryer hookups. So I'm assuming if somebody were to put them, I don't know if you, if you got an idea of this part of the, of the house, but let me just show you this. So there's a water heater right there. So this is the door, this is the door to the outside. So the way you could go about this is probably get a tankless water heater or move the heater outside and put the washer and dryer right here. That seems to be, the, could be the logical approach. Um, so good question, Kelly. Contingencies. So at this time, this is a trust sale. It does not require court confirmation. At this time, um, the seller is the seller's preferred terms is that if you have to do any inspections, if you have to do any, um, if you have to look at any, um, you know, if you want to get an appraisal, if you want to get uh, a loan, you do all your due diligence prior to submitting an offer. So at this stage, only non-contingent offers. Um, the seller is requesting non-contingent offers. So all the due diligence should be done before. Now to give you an idea of where you are, you have, so you have a house above you that I'm sure has access from the other street. Uh, there's another house to the left and a house to the front. The house, it's, uh, it's, up, it's up from the street, so Let's go explore. Let's see. 
Oh, good question. Yes, I've been hearing chickens. Uh... Okay, we're at the front. I know. <laughs> Donato. This is a great question. Somebody asked me. <laughs> is there a chicken coop? Yes, there is a chicken coop. Not in this house, but you can hear it. You can hear roosters in the back. How awesome is that? Okay, guys. This is the front of the house. So you see it's kind of like raised from the street. This is the, I'm gonna take you on a panoramic view of the street. Exact, esatto Donato, c'è un gallo, c'è un pollaio. <laughs> so from here, I don't know if you've noticed, but you can see downtown LA, the US bank building, there. So relatively close and then you have steps going up so so the house has uh, is not on the street and I think that's uh, that's always a positive so here to, to get you an idea we're on the front porch right now very good question Donato le scale si sono cemento very good they are, the, the question is, are, they, are, they, are the stairs concrete? Yes, they are concrete, concrete stairs. So can you guys see this kind of like porch that we are at? Okay. And now, let's go to the front door. We sort of did it backwards today, right? Welcome to 3137 Fairmont Drive in Boyle Heights, listed by us of the Sanborn team for $425,000. It has been on the market a little bit over a week. Offers are going to be due tomorrow. Seller's preferred terms are that you do the due diligence before you submit an offer. Uh, it is a little bit under 1,000 square feet. It was built in 1924. I was uh, 13 years old. Um, it is five, it's, the lot is 5,200 square feet. Great lot, great size. No, good question, very good question. So these are not hardwood floors. I pavimenti non sono in legno. Questi sono pavimenti in This is laminate, laminate flooring. So you can, you can kind of, uh, here, you could take a look. We're really getting into, really taking an in-depth look at this home. Questa sarà chiamata La casa col pollaio. We're gonna call this the house with a chicken coop because let me tell you one thing, guys. Can I tell you something? You know, waking up in the morning with the sound of a rooster, there's just something special about that. And in this neighborhood, it comes with the house. Now, it doesn't guarantee that the rooster is gonna be singing every morning, but maybe if we stay out here long enough, we can hear the rooster again. A rooster! Somebody, the neighbor must have complained about the rooster. But you have enough space in this, in this, the good news is that you have enough space in this yard to get your own rooster. Or build another structure, whatever you want. So yeah, the floors have been redone relatively recently. Um, we don't guarantee the, the craftsmanship or the kind of work that, the, you know, the quality. That's, that's for you to, to, to determine. 
Uh, yes, yes, good question, Donato. So you do have, you do have uh, the the venting for for the stove. So this is la cappa dei fornelli. It's very important. And they also have a gas connection. Gas. And look at that. It turns on. It turns on. Lavandino. Now this kitchen needs a lot of love. But look at this window. I, I, I find this window kind of interesting. Just FYI, I saw a video of where they used to have these windows. I'm not kidding. In the old days, I don't know, 20s, something like that. They used to put babies in them, like newborns with like a little blanket they would, so that they could get sunlight or something. I mean, it was, it was, it was interesting. Okay, let's, let's talk serious because I go off on tangents. This plywood comes with the house. Free of charge, plywood. Um, the, the flooring, yes. Pavimenti della cucina sono ceramica, tiles in the kitchen. Let's take a look. You see, it's good to have somebody who, who is interested in construction. When you have properties like this, this is basically when you see it. I see more people are joining in. 3137 Fairmont Drive street avenue that's for you to find out it's for you to find out uh, boil heights yes boil heights close to east l.a but city of los angeles very close to usc medical center you're a doctor you just finished medical school get your daddy to buy you this house fix it up leave it here have your residency at usc that's it i've already planned your entire life for you um oh the top uh That's a good question, Donato. I don't know what the top of the cucina is. I think it's wood, For, formica. No, no, it's not from, it's not, uh, they, over here they call it formica. It's not formica. Oh, thank you, Tommy. I appreciate that. That was good. Formica, formica, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what these tops are made of. I mean, they're obviously wood, but they have a coating on top, which is probably vinyl or something. Or resin, oh my God, I think it's resin. Yeah, thank you. The, yes, the house, it's very interesting. It's very interesting because it has potential. Um, I want to show you guys some details. That's original, original 1924 built-ins. The house does not have central air. It does not have, this I believe is the only source of heating that I can see. It's in the living room, which used to, this used to be a fireplace at some point, I think. Hand sanitizer, because we're in the time of COVID. Okay, guys, I think we did good. I feel like we've done very well. Any other questions? Donato, altre domande? Il tetto? Il tetto non lo so. I don't know about the roof. I don't know about this roof. I see some tiles. You know what? I'm just gonna get you guys up there and you tell me what the roof looks like. Because I have no idea, I've never been up there. Okay, Donato, hai capito? Adesso ti mando su. E tu mi dici com'è il tetto, perché io non sono mai salito sul tetto, ok? Ok, vai. Ok, dimmi. How is the, how's the roof, guys? 
uh, good questions. It looks dry. We haven't had rain in a long time. Um, as far as we can tell, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty dry. We have a star with us today, by the way, at this open house. We have a star. Abbiamo una stella con noi, Donato, che ci sta aiutando, helping us understand this house a little better. I appreciate it. Electrical meter. Elettrico. Uh, I don't know where the gas is, but it's probably on the side of the house. Yes, definitely requires work. Also, the house, it's on a raised foundation. We're really getting into the, this is like home improvement, raised foundation. You guys want to go and check in? You guys want to go check out the basement? Who wants to go in the basement? This is not a horror movie. Who wants to go in the basement? Chi vuole andare a vedere il, 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 sotto, il sotto della casa? Yeah? You guys feeling it? Come on. Come on. All right, let's do it. Okay. Did you what did you guys see? Did you guys see it? What do you think? What do you think about the 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 nothing special? It's hard to determine if there are any foundation issues there's they're not that easy to determine um, by a quick look like that, but but we did do it. We did go inside. Oh, you guys love it so much you want to go back in? You want to go back in? Okay. There you go. Can I just tell you something, guys? There are so many jokes I could do right now, but I'm not going to do, I'm not gonna make any jokes because, you know, we can't, you can't do jokes about what, what's, what's buried down here. No, you can't. Um, we're only gonna say that. Pennies. That's what I meant, obviously. I don't know if you guys saw that movie, uh, Stand By Me, about uh, the kid who was looking for his pennies buried under his basement and was like, anyway. Uh, Okay, so let's go down the driveway. Here you have, for your enjoyment, the phone line. Oh, this is probably the, the ventilation for the, for the heating. Very good, yeah, I, I think the basement looks better than I thought. The, the, the crawl space underneath the house, not a basement, it's a crawl space. And obviously when you come out here, you get to listen to a little fiesta music. Okay, that's the extent of my singing for this, for this day. But there you go guys, here we are, once again in front of the house. Okay, we're about to wrap it up. I'm gonna show you the, the roof from the front, okay? Oh, and there's a tree. You love trees. Here's a tree. Downtown LA. I think we did very good. We did good. We saw a lot. We saw a lot of this house. Oh, we did lock ourselves out, but we have the keys. So we're in luck. I hope we have the keys. Otherwise, we'll have to go through the through the basement. Just kidding. All right, well, thankfully. Yeah, so the house needs, a, needs some work. There's no denying it. But guess what? You put the sweat equity in, you're gonna get, and you will get a reward for it. This is the game. This is the real estate game. This is what, this is where it all started. This is where it all starts. So guys, we're gonna go back to where we started and we're gonna wrap it up.
All right. Thank you very much for joining me. Grazie mille for being part of this great adventure we had today. Once again, 3137 Fairmont in Boyle Heights, 425,000 listed by us of the Sanborn team. Offers are due tomorrow at noon, so hurry. Um, it's been a pleasure to have you guys. Please have a safe Sunday and I will see you. Oh my God, I, I, I think I, I'm not sure 100% but I may have something so special for you next week. So special. 3 p.m. on Sunday, 3 p.m. Pacific, <laughs> 6 p.m. Eastern. Do your own math if you live in the middle of America. The open house show with, with the Sanborn team, looking at our listings. We are, we are just doing everything we can to, to help our clients in these challenging times see real estate. So guys, thank you very much for joining me. I will see you next time and please remember that this is going to have a replay so if you want to watch this again it's going to be posted in HD with a replay. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much guys and I will see you next Sunday.